How frustrated are you by the current situation? What situation? Well, just being injured in and out. I mean, I, all I can really do is control what I can control. And, uh, you know, that's right now is just rehabbing, uh, trying to come back as strong as possible um, as soon as I possibly can. And uh, that's all I can really do right now. Did you rush it? Did you rush it? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the time limit for, you know, usually rotator cuffs are four to six weeks. You know, I felt during the week that, you know, I had the opportunity to play, um, you know, right at that kind of four, three weeks, four week mark. Uh, and, um, you know, I just didn't have the strength and things like that to be able to go out there and play a full complete game. So, uh, you know, the medical staff, Kevin, you know, decided to, you know, hold me out so I don't, you know, do anything worse to it so when are you hoping to play again uh i mean as soon as possible as soon as possible so you know we just got to go you know through the process again and uh rehab and get back with the docs and uh try to strengthen it as much as possible and get the pain away and uh try to get back on the field as soon as so possible. do you think do you think playing last week set you back on in your uh recovery uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it did or if it didn't. Um, you know, at the same time, I wasn't 100% last week. Um, so, you know, I just try to, like I said before, you know, go through the game, go through the process of see if I can make the throws, make the plays. You know, I thought I was ready, wasn't ready. Um, and, you know, at the time, you know, I took a hit, took a blow right to the same same area once I hit the turf on that last play, I guess, that I was laying down. Um, you know, same same situation. Boom, hit that. So it was a little shock, and um, so you know, it possibly could be. So I'm not sure. Yeah, Sean, Nick, you, you, look good on, you look good on Friday. Like you were throwing with velocity when we were watching you out there. Are there days where it feels good and days where it doesn't? I mean, I want to sit here and say I was I was feeling perfect on Friday. Uh, you know, I was pushing through it. So because uh, I'm a competitor, but you know, I, I felt like I had enough. But at the same time, though, you got to realize. The reality, the reality in practice is very controlled, especially Friday. You call it fi Fast Fridays for a reason. And, uh, you know, the fact that you can't put in until you actually, you know, go out there is on Sundays and bullets is flying. You got to be able to react and not think about each throw and not know, you know, where you're going to throw the ball and how you're going to throw the ball and, and, and uh, you know, the velocity, the speed, the tempo, all that stuff. So, you know, um, you know, we got a little taste of it in three or four drives, series, and, um, yeah, it just, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it just, it just wasn't right. Deshaun, when they came out to look at you, um, I guess you cleared a concussion test or whatever. Uh, at what point, though, during that evaluation, was did the shoulder become the concern and not uh, a potential head injury? Uh, the concern was the shoulder from, from the jump. I didn't know about the concussion until I went in the second time. So uh, the spotter from up top and the lady came down, and that's when they, when I came out, then I went back in. That's when we did the concussion thing, and I was surprised too. I didn't know that it was concussion because the whole time when I was down, and the docs came over, we were speaking on the shoulder. So, uh, yeah, I, I cleared that. Then, and I tried to go back in, and then you know Kevin, AVP, and the docs came over and, and, and spoke to me, and you know I was wanted to go back in, but you know it, it's a team decision, you know, and I felt like you know, of course, you know, being the competitor, I want to play and, and try to you know push it through, but. At the same time, what's what's like I said before many times, like what what's going to be the best situation for the team, and ten was the best situation. Deshaun. In general, right now, uh, I, I hear speculation. I see things written that perhaps maybe you <coughs> that you don't want to play. So can you just a address the motion? I wouldn't want to play. I just I just worked my ass off for two years to get back to playing. So why wouldn't I want to play? This is what I've been doing since I was six years old. So why wouldn't I want to play? I see the I see the same things. I see all the. The narratives, this, that, the third, I mean, all that stuff is just trying to call controversy and, and, and commotion. You know, I'm fine. I'm happy. Uh, I'm not happy with the injury, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in a great space mentally. I'm in a great space spiritually. Uh, physically, everything else is in a great space except my shoulder. Uh, so we're working hard to get that back. But, yeah, why wouldn't, why wouldn't I want to play? I don't, I don't do this for no other reason. So, uh yeah, I see that too. I see the whole contract situation and all that stuff. Yeah, that stuff is just for people to talk and, and just create narratives. So someone trying to speculate that you might not even want to play for the Browns. Like you might be looking for somewhere else to go. Why would I do that? I, I, I'm not saying it. I'm just saying that's yeah. just some 
a national, someone national, you know, like threw that out there. I mean, none of those national people know me. They don't talk to me. So why would why would anybody listen to any of that stuff? All that is speculation. So if it ain't coming from me, then all that other shit is bullshit. So. Is that's why you thought it was important to to talk today because there's just so much stuff swirling around. Did you? want to address it even in a week that you're not starting normally no not at all i mean the one week i didn't talk was you know a situation where i was doing something you know about my shoulder and i was with doctors and stuff so then it came out that i wasn't playing so i mean i don't have and this is and, and nothing against you guys but i mean even in houston it wasn't like a set day that i was going to talk or things like that i guess it's a big deal here so as long as you get your speak uh you know your interview in throughout the week that's what I'm used to. So this is the first time where I guess if I don't speak on Wednesdays, it's a big deal. Uh, I mean, yeah. So I'm going to speak as many times as I can, uh, once a week at least, unless, you know, I'm told otherwise or I have to something else to do, you know, on the medical side. But uh. so Sean, has anyone through this process suggested surgery or said that by at the end of the season you might need surgery? No, sir. No, sir. With the residual swelling, is that – something that has been lingering since you originally did this or does that swelling that's in there right now come from the hit and the fall that you took in india no it was from the original hit you have to remember too it's like you know you hear doctors and you hear people and like I, I think i mentioned last week too is uh you know this injury is more like a, you know you got to look at it as a pitcher as a thrower and usually pitchers don't take collisions also you got to remember too i got hit hard on it it's like a car crash so that's going to create more swelling than just getting pulled back or just throwing and it, it just strain itself. So, you know, there's other stuff that kind of factor in to the bruising and the swelling around the rotator cuff. I remember last and time so, I spoke to you, um, you had mentioned that that MRI came uh, the Saturday before the game because the swelling had to go down and that's when right. they found the, the micro tears. Is it the same situation right now where – the swelling has to go down a little bit for them to take another look at it just to make sure everything's okay? Uh, no, we took an MRI. We got an MRI on, was it Monday? What's today, Thursday? Yeah, Monday. So um, not that I know of. I mean, it wasn't too much. Swell. It's just, again, like I said, I hit the turf. Um, it caused a reaction, and it was just the best situation that, you know, I just rest the rest of the game and this week and, um, you know, just get back to the drawing board and, you know, get the treatment in and, and try to, you know, build that strength around it. So Sean, during, the, the, during the bye week, uh, Andrew Berry said that he thought this was going to be a short-term term issue, wasn't going to linger for very long. Is that still the case now that we're, you know, three weeks down the line and it's still unclear when you're going to come back? Do you Are you concerned that this injury is going to linger with you throughout the entire season? Because the truth is you are going to get hit once you come back. Well, yeah, but at the same time, throughout those weeks that I'm not playing, I am doing strength work and, and building the muscle around it. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's going to linger or if it's not. Uh, but in the situation right now, it's more of just being able to control the ball and things like that. You know, like I said before, I try to push through the pain. You know, he asked me about Friday. You know, Friday was a sharp, you know, control day. But it's not that I didn't have any type of <coughs> resistance throwing the football, you know. So, uh, you know, at some point, whenever I do get back out there, I might, I might not. I'm not sure. You know, this is the first time I'm dealing with it, so I'm just, you know, taking it as it comes and controlling what I can control. But right now, it's, uh, you know, we're not in a space where I should be out there right now. So it's possible you're going to come back at some point and not be 100% and have to still kind of work through this? Well, I mean, of course. But I don't think anybody is going to be 100% throughout the year. So regardless if you're healthy or if you're not healthy, I mean, once you get to November, December, January football, no one's is, is 100% healthy. So I'm trying to get to a percentage where I can go out there and be very, very beneficial for the team and uh, win a lot of games. Do you feel like you're on the same page with the team as far as this week deciding to let you focus on rehab? I mean, of course. You know, we all just came together. And, you know, there's no negative vibes or negative energy with this team, with this locker room or anything. We're four and two. It's this energy in this locker room and this team and the coaching staff, the front office. We're in a great space. We enjoy our victories. We don't care how we get them as long as we get those W's and uh, we keep it pushing and we keep it going. So it's always the next man up and, uh, you know, all the other stuff outside noise we don't we don't pay attention to. Have you, you tried to throw this week since Sunday? Uh, here and there a little bit. But, you know, you got to take steps. You can't just jump, you know, where we want to be right now. So, um 
you know, they're doing a lot to, you know, pretty much hold me back from not trying to throw too much and, you know, do certain things. So, you know, I just got to follow the steps and, you know, go from there. So going, 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 off of that, going off of that, um, you know, you played injured in your career before. Mm -hmm. For all the fans that are kind of giving you flag, can you explain, like, how this is different than some other injuries that you've suffered in the past? Yeah, I mean... Like you hit it, you hit it right on the head. I mean, I played with injuries before. Um, you know, being a quarterback, you have to throw the ball in the day. You know, I have a, a blessed ability to be able to run the ball and extend plays and things like that. But every quarterback don't need that. If you, you know, if it was my throw, left shoulder, you know, then I can still use my right shoulder. But since I can't use my right shoulder, and that's my throwing arm, you know, it's it's hard to direct balls. It's hard to get the ball where I want it to get to pass a certain amount with a certain velocity while defenders is running around. So, I mean, it's, it's the one thing that I need to play the position at a high level, especially. So, uh, you know, like I said before, it's like asking a receiver without a hamstring to go run. I mean, that's, it's, it's crazy. You, know, you can't do that. A couple more. With everything that's happened in the last two years, a long way home, how have you been able to stay in a good head space? I've been good. I've been staying true to me. I'm, you know, very, very secure with myself. Uh, not in an arrogant way, but I know who I am. And uh, that's how I've been able to, you know, stay sane and stay, you know, true to me. But the most importantly is I know my Lord and Savior. And, uh, you know, I stay close to him. I stay close to the ones that love me, the ones that really support me. And I just, you know, focus on that. And um, all the other stuff, if you, you know, speak negative or things like that, I just stay away from it. And I just stay in my own lane. I don't bother nobody. I just, I go to work, I do what I need to do. Um, I love and, and being around my teammates in this organization. And um, I just stay focused on that, so. Deshaun, you said you, you weren't ready. Those are your words. Did you know that as soon as you threw that first pass to Jerome Ford that, that, I, that hit the ground? No, I mean, no, not at all. You know, that was the first play of the game. You know, a lot of quarterbacks do that. They miss a hitch or miss a slant early on. I mean, it's the first play of the game. So Jerome was going opposite of the way we were actually running. Defender was coming. And, you know, instead of a ball popped up or something like that, excuse me, something like that happening, you know, it just went right at his feet and we went on to the next So when did you know you weren't ready? I mean, that's what you said. Yeah, I mean, we just, at the end of the day, we just, I got hit and the injury was there. And so it was, wasn't like a, an injury where, Oh, I got a head and oh, I can just play through it. It was a, a painful injury during that process when we were under the tent. So that's when we just knew it wasn't it wasn't time. Last one here. That four to six week time frame that you initially told us about last week, um, is that the same as it was originally or did the clock reset at all when you took this new hit in Indy? I mean, the four to six time frame, that's, that's, I think that's a generic uh, timeline for just the normal just rotator cuff, you know, and I think I'm saying that because that's what, you know, the research says, that's what, you know, doctors typically say for, you know, pitchers and baseball guys and all the research that we done did. But, you know, I, I mean, it can be longer. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You know, we just don't know until the staff, till the medical staff, till the coaching staff, till myself feel very, very comfortable that I can go out there and be the quarterback, you know, people saw in Tennessee. Um, then we just gotta, you know, take it day by day, and I think that's what Kevin has been saying, and that's what he's been trying to say. There's no certain timeline on a, you know, on certain injuries. Some, you know, people bodies react differently, and people, you know, way they, you know, come back react differently. So it might be shorter, it might be longer. You know, and that's why I said it could be tomorrow, it could be next week. I don't know. You know, we just have to take it day by day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.